So what are you? You're like a police station or something? It was alarmed, whatever it is. Okay. Well, uh... Fine. I'll be over here. So it's really loud, and because the zombies have actually kind of okay hearing, they'll all sort of migrate over to this loud noise to see what it is. So that area I can't really stay for very long. But that means that up here should be okay. Kind of. A V3 remote controller. Improvised devices to remotely detonate crafted bombs and traps. Um, sure. So much stuff! Let's equip this as primary. We'll put... Spare hammer in that. What's some of the heavier stuff that I've got here? Was there a way to sort by weight? Guess not. Uh, okay. Like the tactical walkie-talkie we can put in there because that's a heavy one. Guess the books. See if they fit. Yeah, the tire pump and radio could be good ones. Yeah, getting a bit full. 8.4 out of 10. Yeah, we'll leave it at that, I guess. Let's head back if I can. Are we clear yet? Have they all moved on? Most of them. Burnt down house that away. Okay. We'll move on. I've already got a saw, which is really good. The saw is one of like the big main important things that you got to find. Uh, you kind of need one. A little bit, no matter what. There's a generator in there. And I've already got hammers, which is really cool. I need nails. And then I need an axe. Although an axe, we can make an improvised one if I, um... If I go out, like, into the forest and forage and stuff, we could maybe find, like, a nice branch with the... Uh, I think it's a chipped stone or something like that. A heavy load. Getting a little hungry. Now it's a proper heavy load. Getting a bit weaker as I get tired and more hungry. And moderate exertion because of the heavy load that I'm carrying around. My house. Yeah, it was this guy, I think, right? I mean, it wasn't my house technically, but the house I'll use. <laughs> it was going so fast for a moment. I'll lead him around the shed here. Oh, he already lost me, maybe. Man, they're really out wandering today. So we can call this home, I suppose. We'll put away our food. That's all the food we've got. Spoons, forks, butter, knives. We'll put these all in the same container. Corner one. So beneath the sink... Oh, wait.
go, okay. So beneath the sink, then, we'll put, uh... I don't know. Like, a bowl, definitely. Can opener. Yeah, what? Jeez. Hello? Who else is knocking? They're just one of those that never fall, huh? There we go. Fuck, they're so annoying. Oi! Stop! He will eventually break the door if I let him do that long enough. Can you make traps and such? Uh... Yes? Oh my god. Uh, frame rate. Why does it go slow-mo? I don't get it. There. He's out of here. All right, Solos, thanks for stopping in. Have a good one. Probably just be streaming for like another half hour again. It's going to be a shorter stream than normal today because I've got an appointment to get to. Um, pretty much at the normal stream stop time. So, yeah. For all those books that we got and papers into the bookshelf. I think you can make, like, barbed wire and stuff, but I don't know about, like, like, proper traps. I'm not sure. Deep screwdriver. Do I have a screwdriver? Oh, I have a screwdriver. Oh, okay. Yeah, dismantle that one. Some more bits and bobs for it. So I guess we can use for the moment this bookshelf for just parts and stuff. Tire pump I'll put into a vehicle if I ever find one that I can drive. It has bandages and suture needle will go together. We'll do that with uh, also some ripped sheets. Just like a little medical container somewhere. I can dismantle that too. Hell yeah. Keep killing zombies around the house. I'll have painted in no time. That's why I usually have to go on low. I guess a saw can go in there too. And then the spare hammer, sure. Fine. Wire, batteries, aluminium, scrap, radio receiver, scrap metal twine, remote controller. Oh, yeah. All right. Hammer and screwdriver I keep on me for dismantling and such. Medical supplies, I guess I can hang on to that for the time being. Throw them into this bag that's better at holding. Garbage bag we can unequip. And secondary. Okay. So the garbage bag we'll have for like just spare. And close the window and blinds. We need to create some more sheet things, I think, for the windows. We need... At least one. I don't think the doors can have them. We need two. We need two sheets. Minor lockup. Still don't know why it happens. We'll, uh... I guess smash this car. Jump 
jump into it. No key. Open the boot. See a single glove box empty. And a metal sheet in the trunk. Weird, but okay. Let's grab some sheets from a neighbor real fast. Hello, Crunchy. How you doing? Related to V-Sync and FPS limit. Remove V-Sync or upper frame rate limit. I... I don't know, though. Like, lock frame rate 60. Vertical sync's on. I mean... Just uncap it. Vertical sync on. Vertical sync off. I mean, I'm windowed technically, so it, it shouldn't really matter too much. No. Because I was messing with this last night because I was, um... I was playing it a bit with my girlfriend and it was doing that lockout thing all the time. We're like, what the hell's going on with that? The game is so simple. I thought it was maybe the 3D models, the shadow updates, and I tried windowed and full screen and... No map. I don't have a map yet. There are maps in the game. Uh, otherwise, you have to look online for the map. But in-game, you do find maps. It may not be for your area, but you do find them. And sometimes they'll even have markings on them. And if you have pens and pencils, you can mark them yourself. Pretty neat. And this is our starting house. Which I'm not really a fan of. You broke in, you bitch. And also that heartbeat sound effect. That needs to not. I hate that sound so much. <laughs> okay. Remove curtains. We'll move these over to our new house. Is this house, I mean, it's it's generally like, it's it's okay, but like, there's not much storage space in it at all. Fuck, you guys are so loud out there. Well, that was a pretty hard lock just then. But, like, you think if I lock this to, uh... 55? I'm streaming at 50, so... I don't think you guys will notice it too much. We'll see if this fixes it then, maybe? Smash all the windows to the TV way up to keep the zombies in that direction. To a degree it'll work, but they'll still migrate around and like distribute through the cell. Uh. Oh, I can. Oh, cool. Those curtains. Because I think... If you have the lights on, but you don't have curtains over all the windows, I think they get drawn to the light like moths. But I don't know for certain. But alright. Pretty okay amount of space in this house. I'd like to take out this wall. We'll renovate it one day if I get a cool little sledgehammer. Storm size is limited to three. I think I turned that off. I brought that down to zero because I thought, nah, fuck it. Because otherwise you'd have just like little pockets of zombies everywhere. Ah! Splat. 
Jesus Christ. Uh, alright, food, thirst, slightly thirsty. Didn't I get a water bottle? Oh. Main inventory. There we go. So we can keep drinking from that automatic and I don't have to worry about it. And food-wise, we didn't really find much. I've got a bit of cabbage, but no knife to chop it. You just need a knife, you can't just pull it apart. We have a burger and some cheese. I mean, we got the makings for, like, a super fancy burger. <laughs> but, uh... Hmm. Not much else. I'll just go ahead and eat all the burger. That'll do me. Where is that ice cream? Oh, yeah, ice cream. Put that in there. Maybe we can have that for breakfast. Oh, that's not... The freezer, please. There we go. Don't know if I need a rubber band. There's the sheet. And sheet. And okay. So, we'll do a quick walk around the house. Make sure we're generally clear. I read that right, yeah. And we'll, uh, really want a bed yet, though. We're not even tired. We'll probably just wake up in the middle of the night if I do that. I guess I'll read, a uh, like a book, like a skill book or something. Electricity for beginners, I suppose. And we don't have a TV in here, right? Yeah, shit, I should grab the TV from the, uh, from the starting house. <laughs> Let me see about doing that real fast. I don't really want to be out at night because that's when I've got them set to be more active. So they'll be a lot faster and generally more alert. And this is the wrong house. Ten weight. That's not so bad. And the table, too. Okay. Oh. Hi. Fall over, please. There we go. A key. I don't know, do the base keys do anything? Or is that just, you can use keys to then lock a door and that key becomes for that door? Or is it... Ooh, antidepressants. Or is it that the keys actually do have a use and you just won't realize it until you find the locked door for it, in which case you automatically use it. And it pretends that it wasn't locked in the first place then. I'm not really sure. Good evening from Russia. Is it your first time playing Zomboid or am I an expert? Uh, hello, Pumpkinhead. How you doing? I recognize your name. Um... I wouldn't say an expert. I'd say a, a moderate veteran. Oh, about. How many hours do I have? Almost 200 hours total. But probably cut that number in half because the game's changed a lot. <laughs> so. 
Let's put down... I guess we could just throw the TV down here, right? This house is a bit of a mess. What the hell? <laughs> and this table then? Um, sure. <laughs> Oops. Alright, you want to keep it nice and quiet. Flip through some stations a bit. There you go, there's there's something to watch. And let's read for a bit until we get tired. Reading takes a while to do. Even with the fast reader trait, it still takes ages. So we'll probably not be able to finish the book in one go. Which, 220 pages, you wouldn't expect to be able to. So we'll, uh... We'll speed up time, like, a lot. Jesus Christ. So the meta sound offense, that, that's one of them. Loud gunshot didn't actually have a source. There's no other NPCs or anything in the game currently. Um, it's just something that the game does to throw zombies from A to B and keep things distributed and such. Sometimes it'll be a gunshot. Sometimes it'll be a scream. Sometimes it's that fucking helicopter. Although I think the helicopter is scripted to happen on a certain day, but I'm not really sure on that. Getting peckish, but not tired yet. Oh, okay, I, we finished it. Jesus. All right. Um, so we got the max multiplier for it now, which I think is three or four. Three. Which is pretty good. And I guess you can be the medical shelf. I don't, I don't, I don't know. There's a suture needle. Although really I should probably keep that with me with that twine or something that I found. That sounds really uncomfortable. Using twine to uh, close up a wound. Ugh. Oh yeah, I never added the... Uh... Yeah, good shout. I have a... Sheet down here. I forgot to cover that window. Thanks for that. And close. Yeah, it's still nighttime out. Okay. Peckish, but that that's it. Um I'll have a quarter of this tub of ice cream. <laughs> yeah. Tune into life and living. I'm hoping I get like a little drowsy at least. Yeah, nothing on life and living. Triple N. Co commercial again. The news station, which is interesting for like a little bit of lore and stuff. But I don't know if it ever has, like, educational stuff on. Pause TV. Perhaps a commercial. Oh yeah, Crunchy mentioned the window too. Sorry, I missed that. Ah. I don't always catch all the, uh... All the chats. Commercial, but anything after the commercial or no not not really okay back to life and living that's like the most reliable channel for something interesting being on uh Ugh, I guess I I guess we sleep and we just we see what happens. We don't have any sheets or a pillow, but you know what? Oh well. Because you find it usually to a locked door slash car nearby. They have no other use. You can't lock doors. There's no purpose to do so unless you install NPC mod. Pretty sure you can lock doors though, right? 
Yeah, I can lock doors. Oh. Hello. Carpentry stuff. How good is that NPC mod? Because I've got it downloaded, I just don't have it enabled. I've never looked into it. I don't know the TV attracts attention, it sounds like super duper quiet. Oh my god. That level up sound. Uh, player? I think so. All right, carpentry point, hell yeah. Good stuff, because with carpentry we can make shelves and crates and all sorts of things. But I need a lot of wooden screws for that. So what do we got? Sometime during the day, maybe? Let's go for some more ice cream, because fuck it. I'll eat another quarter of it. And we'll head back out. Finally back from working at a summer camp to watch again. Coley, oh, welcome back. How was it overall? Two mailboxes. Oh, look at you being fancy. Make snare trap. Yes, please. You can have that back. Is there actually a house anywhere nearby this, or? It's just like the world's longest trail out to maybe possibly a house somewhere. There's mailboxes, so there's, yeah, there's, there's a house. Ooh, candy. Trash candy. The best. Another garbage bag. Another garbage bag. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Loud-ass TV. Alarmed? Not alarmed. Hi, but occupied a bit. With the world's second slowest zombie ever. Come on. Jesus Christ. Pathetic. Ooh, blue pen. It's weird how they're they're faster when they're not alerted to my presence. Downside of having them, I guess, only nighttime active is they get a little weird during the day. Oh my god, TV, please stop. 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 <sighs> Beach bath towels. Don't know if I want the bleach. Can you see bleach as an ingredient in food in Project Zomboid nowadays, or no? Because it used to be that you couldn't. Which made multiplayer... a bit interesting sometimes. Box of Nails is possibly like one of the best things that I could have found just now. Bang. 50 nails? Hundred nails. Oh yeah. So technically with the point that I just got, 
I can plank it, unplank it, un uh, plank it, unplank it, just like reattach and unattach it from a wall and trade on my carpentry skill for a bit. It's annoying also to do three though. Three months, yay. Three months, Colio. Grats, congratulations on the promotion. Finally back from working in summer camp, came to watch again. That staff was crazy. They climbed a 40 foot tree and put a camp fold up chair up there with an American flag print because the colors needed to be posted. Jeez. All right, uh, sure. There, man, so many hammers. Who needs all these hammers? I'll take the flashlight, though. That's kind of cool. Fuck it. Sure. Uh, who throws away? <laughs> These towels are dirty. <sighs> Just throw them away. The disinfectant. <sighs> I opened it. It's it's infected now or something. And some leftover toothpaste, a perfectly good razor, a mirror's in there. Fucking weirdos. But hey, bottle of disinfectant, that's a great thing to have. The bath towels can be used to dry me off if I get caught out in the rain. The disinfectant, obviously, for disinfecting. Long shorts. Would be a good clothing to have, actually. Its insulation's not as good as my pants, so it'll be nice for the uh, warmer days. And the skirt, also pretty comparable, but that's alright. And a radio that I'll probably disassemble. It is very cool. At the start of the game, there will be a lot of NPCs screaming and running around. Some even will be shooting, and will be shooting a lot. First several days, that will be super cool mess, till a third of them die out. You can recruit them and assign to different tasks. It's super cool to make them chop trees, barricade, guard, go from point one to point B, and etc. You need to feed them, can arm them, and they can follow you around and use car with you. But there's also hostile groups that'll not touch you until you until you get super close. Uh then they'll stab you and shoot you with all they've got. Huh. So it turns it into more of a colony it turns the game into survivalist, basically, it sounds like. <laughs> Man, survivalist was a interesting game. Chips, dry ramen noodles, food. Yes, and a can opener. I don't remember if I have a can opener or not. Oh my god, food. Uh, there we go. <laughs> anyway, well, that was kind of a cool house. I don't even know if I got all of it. Actually, I think there's a room I missed up here. Oh no, I got all of it. Okay. Ah, uh, no, maybe I didn't get this room. Umbrella. Sure. Well, that's neat. And then there should be a second house down this way, right? You've thrown out 30 towels before. It's just weird, though. It's like it's a bath towel. Like, what the fuck did you do to it? You wipe your ass with it and got embarrassed, so you just threw it out? Puncture a few holes into it and rip it to it, just pretend, oh, it just fell apart, I don't know. I don't know why it smells like shit. Just a weird thing to throw away. Loud ass TVs again. Oh, Kentucky. Never change. 20 cigarettes and a metal working magazine to teach me make metal sheet and metal small metal sheet. I'll read it. The cigarettes can stay, though. They reduce stress, but bleh. Scrap metal wire and a hammer. 
I'll take them. I'm getting pretty heavy, but I'll take them. Soap. Ah, dead mouse. Tweezers, cotton balls, eyes makeup. Whoa, I. Not eye makeup, eyes makeup. Oh, I don't know. A wallet. Well, you never know, there could be good stuff in there. Can I actually, uh... uh no. Okay, I wasn't sure if I could actually open the wall. Oops. Uh... Up a secondary. You guys want rat for dinner? Ooh, a crowbar. Oh, man, good stuff. Man, maybe I'm moving to this house. This is this is pretty nice. Lot of space in it. Dr. Dibs, Dr. Bibs, Dr. Dids, Dr. Uwe's. I don't know. Baseball bat, finally like a proper weapon. Another radio to dismantle, extremely heavy load. Yeah, okay. Let me, uh... Equip secondary, just one hand the bat. I forgot I got the uh, bag on. Do we have no reminds? Uh, it's just a uh, remind. And yeah, there is a buzz. Fridge. That might do it. Knife. Yes. Okay, let me drop. Grab a couple things out of this. Let's see if I can roast the rat. Then drop that. Ugh. What else we got? Trowel, yes please. Okay, I don't know if there's a whole lot else we can do with that. So let's see about... Yeah, nothing. I don't like have any containers or anything for the rat. Or mouse, rather. Yeah, I was hoping I could, like, put it in the roasting pan or something, at least. Okay. Should we microwave the rat? <laughs> let's just, let's just fucking blast the rat for two minutes. Mouse, rather. Well, that wasn't nearly long enough.
It's getting hot. Man, so many of these sound effects are just like way off. Microwave. Microwave cooking metal? Oh. Okay. I saw also a television test beep. There we go. Turn that down a bit, too. NPC or recruit are usually useless at anything except... Oh, I can... Oh, I'll butcher it. Ah. Small animal meat. Well, if I didn't do that... If how oh, Mac probably could have butchered it and actually like seasoned the meat or something like that. Damn it. Okay. It's already cooked now, so it's too late. Uh I'll eat it. It gets a bit of unhappiness, but that's okay. We got antidepressants. So I'm super duper overburdened. Uh get a in a pretty bad way here, actually. Maybe I move into this house. It's got a bunch of stuff in it. Like, a ton of stuff. And a lot of space. It's kind of cool. I like it. But we're also a little bit getting to the end of the stream. Because, um, again, this is going to be a really short one. Because I have to get ready for an, an important appointment. Some official documents and stuff to sign. Uh, but let me quickly read this. NPCs you recruit are usually useless at anything except guarding and helping you in combat. If you send them to scavenge, they will probably not return. Assigning them to simple tasks takes a lot of time, so it's easily to make everything yourself. You don't really have to recruit them. They just add more diversity to the game. Sometimes you will find a scavenger at a house who will kill you if you try to take something from the house he's looting. Sometimes you'll find dead bodies with useful stuff. Sometimes in the middle of the night, you will hear a lot of shooting going on. The mod also adds some camps with 10 or more NPCs at them. And they will live and probably survive for some time, but it's really fun to aggro horde on them and take tons of good stuff for the storages, yeah. With vehicles, you can probably do that pretty easily. Just drive around, just take off the muffler of your vehicle, floor it, honk in the horn, pull the horde into them, and, and then take off, just troll them with the vehicle, basically. Huh. That's kind of cool, though. I'll probably take a look at that afterwards at some point. Bunch of space here for farming one day. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta sort my inventory, though. Put some of the stuff away. I think I might move into this house. We could call this home. It's a little off the beaten path. It's kind of far from the city. But if we can find a vehicle that works, that'll be really cool. But I like how much space there is here. It's a nice place. I'm happy with it. Uh, oh, you don't have a fridge. Oh, yeah, you do. <laughs> okay. Before I forget. TV dinner in the freezer. We'll put the ramen noodles, chips, and salt and stuff in there, I guess. I don't know. It's weird to put chips in the fridge, but... Ugh. The fridge has so much space. 52 space in it. <laughs> I do still have running water and electricity, yeah. That turns off, uh... Zero to six months, I think I set it at. So, could have it until tomorrow. It could go out in two seconds. It could go out in a month. give you some of this stuff just to lighten the load a bit. 
Although I'm putting in stuff that, like, barely weighs anything. Good job, me. Grab a garbage bag. Equip that secondary. We can throw... Basically everything into it. And next time I'll have to just like sort stuff, bring it stuff over and we'll figure out where we're putting stuff then. And get a farm going. See if I can maybe find a city or something like that. We got a bunch of nails. I've got a saw so I can take down a tree with the uh, axe and saw it up into planks. Hammer in the nails. It's a pretty okay start so far, really. Put that on the ground, too. So we're no longer overburdened. Yay!